But first, the Fairborn rapist fighting for his freedom speaks only to two news. Good evening again. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Marsha Baumhart. This afternoon, Roger Dean Gillespie talked for the first time to our Mark Allen. He discussed his hopes and fears now that a judge has ordered that he will receive a new trial. Gillespie has been in prison for two decades, ever since he was convicted of raping three women in the summer of 1988. He was connected to the crimes through a lineup, which his lawyers claim was set up improperly influenced witnesses. DNA was never used in Gillespie's conviction, and for years he has maintained his innocence and says investigators overlooked a Kentucky man by the name of Kevin Cobb. Mark Allen joins us live with the interview you will see only on two. Marsha Michelle, thank you very much. About two hours ago, I walked out of the front entrance of the London Correctional Facility. That's a walk that Roger Dean Gillespie hopes to make uh, sometime here very soon based on last week's ruling by federal judge Michael Murs that the state of Ohio must either release him or retry him by July of 2012. Spent about an hour this afternoon uh, inside the walls of the prison, which is located, if you don't know, between uh, Springfield and Columbus. Uh, even though we've uh, reported on this story extensively over the years, uh, this was my first chance to meet Roger Dean Gillespie face to face. He told me he didn't sleep for three days after hearing the ruling uh, from Judge Murs last week, and I asked him if it's all sunk in yet. Is it real to you yet? No, not yet. Not. I, I've, I've had ups and downs and ups and downs for 20 years, and you deal with them. You know, the first ones are hard to deal with when you go up, and then you're right back down. Mm -hmm. But this is... I'm talking to people now who are getting this thing done, and that makes you feel that it's getting close. Uh, one of the analogies was we're inches to the goal line. Mm -hmm. So as long as there's not a fumble, we're going to put something on the scoreboard. There have been two uh, very important legal developments on this case uh, just today. Uh, Gillespie's attorney told me they have moved for bond, and they are hoping to get him released by Thursday or Friday of this week. However, uh, just this afternoon, State Attorney General Mike DeWine uh, asked that the court stay the MERS ruling of last week and that the state is now uh, seeking an immediate appeal to the 6th District, District Court of Appeals. So just uh, one more a legal roadblock for Roger Dean Gillespie as he waits for the day he can finally walk out of London Correctional Facility. Much more of my exclusive interview coming up in this newscast in just a few minutes. So stay with us. I'll see you shortly. For now, I'm Mark Allen live in Springfield. Two news on your side.